Hey guys and welcome to my mini-series featuring some large, easy to build, cool and uh, fast slime stone or better say glue stone piston doors with the new update. Here you can see a up to 12 wide and uh, infinitely high piston door. I've got two alternatives of this door. Uh, this one, uh, when it's closed, it's completely seamless. And you can alternatively make it like over there, where I just replaced the last slimestone blocks with solid blocks. And I, I think this looks actually also very good and yeah, there's no uh, fan uh, funky stuff visible when it's opened. <coughs> um, this door here moves as one piece and that's uh, also why I really like it. It's a very, very nice looking opening mechanism. Doesn't look uh, just as crazy as most of the piston doors. Uh, and it's actually a very simple mechanism. So uh, if you want to build this up, I'm going to start a tutorial for this door now. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm just copying the door over there. Uh, this platform here is the one where the door will be standing on when it's closed. Uh, it's uh, four blocks wide and up to 12 blocks long. You can make it shorter, but uh, I'm going to build a 12 by 8 one. Uh, also, the door is vertically tileable, so you can make it taller or uh, less tall if you want to. And the middle two blocks uh, may not be sticky, so just use something like obsidian, melon blocks, leaves or terracotta or whatever you like. So we are going to extend this uh, platform up out uh, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to build uh, the parts of the flying machines. So with these L-shaped segments where each of them contains two pistons, an observer and uh, three blocks. And I need some honey blocks as well. And so we are alternating honey blocks and slime blocks. <coughs> All right, that was actually rather simple and quick. Now we're going to place some more observers and we need another block which uh, uh, we are going to use uh, something some scaffolding maybe this one I don't know it doesn't really matter uh, this one is part of the flying machine so we're going to start off building a tower that is uh, like this so two blocks in of alternating observers and some other block if you like uh, make sure that the observers are uh, always on the second block like this. On the other side we basically do the same but we are going to remove all these uh, scaffolding blocks. So we only need observers on that side. Good. Now we're going to place some more L shapes. We are starting off with honey blocks. This is this is important because when uh, on the row of the observers there have to be slime blocks, and also another piston. So honey, slime, and this piston needs to be facing backwards. Uh, it might be easier in survival to actually place all the pistons at once, and uh, first do the slime and the honey blocks like this. And then you go behind us and place some more pistons. Okay. Now we're going to place a lot of pistons on the inside here. And now six uh, slime blocks and honey blocks alternating. Uh, both in every layer. And yeah, within the layers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is good. Same on the other side. Now we are stacking up like this. 
this is the actual door already. Whoops, hello. Alright, um, next up you can like place the decorative door blocks. Just use any block that is uh, normal, doesn't have any weird properties. Doing the same on both sides and after that we are uh, going to mirror the whole door on the other side. Quite a lot of dogs, uh, blocks <laughs> which are moving dogs. Oh my god. Okay, so again, five blocks one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> I'm going to mirror the door, so make sure that you do this on the same side. So, in this case, on this side. Sorry, I'm a bit, um, um, I'm a bit sick, so that's why I'm constantly clearing my throat. Uh, anyways, so here we go. I need some honey blocks again. Some For some reason I'm always throwing them out of my inventory. Eight blocks tall. Observer, observer, observer. Piston, 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 piston. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, keep in mind, we're going to do the same with the observers. So, these solid blocks are also on the same side, uh, opposing the side of these pistons here. So... Like that, on, on the other side the same, and then just gonna remove the blocks afterwards. Okay, now again the L-shaped blocks. Remember to start with honey blocks. And now don't forget these pistons. Always next to the slime blocks. Okay, now we can place the other wall of pistons. And now uh, you need to keep out uh, watch out uh, that you alternate so that the doors don't stick to each other so we need to have slime blocks on this side and honey blocks on the other side and now we keep stacking up honey and slime blocks it's actually quite fun so many moving blocks I love the sound of these uh, slime and honey blocks. It's so satisfying somehow. Yum. Yummy, yummy. And just a little bit disgusting. <laughs> as you can see, I'm filling up those uh, blocks as well. There we go. Same on the other side. And the door is almost done. Okay, so next up we are uh, going to block these uh, outer flying machines. Otherwise, uh, they are going to update when we are now placing the uh, starting mechanism and it's actually extremely simple so we're just going to do basically two things 
You just need to build glass towers in front of these um, observers here and connect them. And that's it. Okay, I'm always going to start from the bottom. Uh, make sure that there's a gap in front of the observers. Like this. And uh, need some redstone later. Okay, we are going to place uh, some more glass towers here. Um, now looking at the other design, so it's exactly three blocks in between and facing the opposite direction. So one, two, three. And same on the other side. One, two, three. Then the block. So, some redstone. On each of those towers. And now we're going to hook up these uh, towers to one power source on both sides. So I'm going to extend them a little bit further. Maybe like this. Just like this. And I'm sorry, I just noticed that these uh, Towers, uh, these uh, row of glass blocks is actually completely unnecessary. So you, it won't break the machine if you place it, place it, but we don't need it. We only need one in front of these um, uh, observers, which have the solid blocks in between and the two on the back. And now, you're connecting this together. And then uh, I'm already placing another row of glass blocks like this to a central uh, power source, like a button in the middle, which we will place at the end. Um, now you need to make sure that the signal strength lasts up to the last corner. So when you place the repeater that far out, it should easily go up to here. And we're going to do the same on the other side, this time without the unnecess unnecessary glass tower. So one here. We're going to go, uh, go another two blocks out, then uh, I'm placing this row of blocks uh, diagonally from these terracotta blocks. And again, another glass tower with a three block distance, just like this. And that one is going outwards, so like this. Same on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to re replace this one with a solid block in order to be able to power it uh, by a repeater. Place a bunch of redstone somewhere in the middle. You can place a button. Now don't press it yet. Because we need to do two things. We need to remove the obsidian and uh, place the proper obsidian barriers. And they are then diagonally from the last tower here. Just some obsidian where the flying machines are. That's going to be good. Same on the other side. So they are diagonally from this tower. Pillar up or down. 
and then we're going to remove these obsidian and on the other side I already removed them and now let's test whether this works. Yep. So as you can see this is really uh, quick to build. I could build it all in one take. Going to add a second button so it's more symmetrical. And uh, in 15 minutes in survival it might take you a little bit longer but this is really quick to build up. And now you can decorate the store by encasing it and making a tunnel or however you like it. Um, just make sure that there are non-sticky blocks at the ceiling. Also it reduces lag slightly if you have a ceiling covering the door. And if you want to have the alternative design, you remove the last row of solid blocks and slime blocks and just replace those slime blocks uh, with more solid blocks. Yeah, now we can place another two blocks here and here. Doing the same with the other side. Mix doesn't work because then we will have uh, blocks sticking to the slime blocks. So either this design or the other. Okay, let's finish it up. Give it a quick test. Works like a charm. Okay, thanks guys for watching and next time I've got some more cool piston doors and uh, other piston contraptions for you. Goodbye!